And we welcome you to the Supreme Court in Herm Miller Gymnasium here at Ottawa Glandorf High School getting set for another matchup in the Western Buckeye League as the Titans of OG unbe uh, unbeaten in WBL play take on the Bulldogs of Salina. With Miles Holiday and Randy Roberts, partner, this has turned into being a pretty big matchup in the Western Buckeye League and a uh, good one here tonight. Well, it's always a big game here at the Supreme Court, right? Everybody comes in, tries to knock off the Titans, and where else would you rather be than right here, right now? Really, it's do or die time in the WBL for Salina. A really improved Salina mm -hmm. team with 10 wins, four and one in the league race. Of course, they're gonna have to knock off the Titans tonight to stay in that WBL race. Yes, Salina, as Miles said, 10 wins are coming in at 10 and six, but more importantly, four and one in the WBL, so they get the win tonight. Stay right in the thick of the Western uh, Buckeye League race. Also on a bit of a winning streak. They've won three in a row for their last five. They defeated Bath 64-47, Crestview in overtime 59-56, and Bell Fountain 58-47. We'll take a look at the starting lineup for the Green Bulldogs of Salina under head coach Adam Johns. And they got a pretty good score in a senior Braylon Gabe's 6-1 player who pumps in about 16 a night. Yeah, and our good friend Mark Shine told us he can jump out of the gym. So we're hoping to get a little bit of a breakaway. Uh, the Gabe brothers, they are fantastic scorers, do a great job of carrying the offensive load. Caleb about nine points a game. So look for those two to do a great job. The rest of the guys, Grant Duncan is capable. Uh, Wernz is gonna have to do a good job on the glass for this uh, Salina team. Uh, and this, this is a really a, an improved team from Adam Johns. We were talking before the broadcast not too long ago. Salina, when you looked at them, that was an automatic win. That's not the case anymore. Yeah, also have a pretty good three-point shooter. It's going to come off the bench, Lennon Sisko, a uh, senior who is 34 of 84 from behind the arc. So shades in the microwave and some instant offense for the Bulldogs. <laughs> oh, Vinnie Johnson, right? Yeah, 40% from behind the arc. So. Otto Glender going to have to be very aware of where he's at on the offensive sets. So they let him get going. And you know shooters are always streaky. Mm -hmm. He gets that first one to go in. Confidence goes through the high. Now we're going to take a timeout. When we come back, we'll give you the starting lineup for the Titans of OG when we return here in WOSN. Four. And how about the matchup with Berlin Highland, 59-56. And we've said a lot about Colin White, and we've been here a couple of times this year. But all White did was go for 27 points, 10 rebounds against Highland, hit the game-winning three with nine-tenths of a second left. A little bit of to drama, the too. Boink, 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 and then in. Our good buddies Darren Gilbert and Danny Holbrook had that call. And how about Danny Holbrook losing his mind on that one? Colin White, he's that kind of player. He'll do that. You look at the starting lineup. One guy that sticks out to me, partner, is Grady Tomazos. He has really established himself as an offensive threat the last mm -hmm. three games. Yeah, so uh, Colin White, the superlatives, if you're interested, 24 and a half points, eight rebounds, three assists, does a little bit of everything. Guy we've talked about quite a bit, Caden Erford, kind of that uh, second scorer, 13 points, three assists. Tomazos is a guy Miles talked about. We talked about Cisco for Salina and the way he's able to shoot the three ball. How about three shooters for OG over 40% from behind the arc? Yeah, it's a team that collectively hits about seven threes a game. They're not shy. If you're wearing an Ottawa Glendorf jersey, you're probably gonna launch a three at some point in time in your career. And we'll take a timeout when we come back. We'll get you our keys to the game in the opening tip. You're watching high school basketball here on WOSF. Randy and Miles back with you here from the Supreme Court in Ottawa Glandorf, just about ready to go for the start of this one. I want to tell you that our presenting sponsor is Cisco Funeral Homes, dedicated to excellence and service and have the highest integrity. Cisco Funeral Homes, our family serving your family in Salina and St. Mary's. So while we get to 
the starting lineups. Let's take a look at our keys to the game in this one, partner. Let's start with the visiting Salina Bulldogs. Yeah, number one, Randy, they gotta get to the line. If they're getting to the line, that means they're being aggressive, then they're getting the OG into the foul trouble. It is a team, Randy, they've shot 219 times from the free throw line. That's gonna be important for them here tonight. At number two, put the ball on lockdown. Do not turn over to that basketball because we know OG is very, very proficient at turning those turnovers into points. And then number three, brotherly love. You know how we like to hug each other and we see it. Well, the brothers Gabes, they love to hug each other on the offensive end. Braylon with, us with about 17 points a game and then Caleb with nine points a game. Got to share that love on the offensive end. They got to carry that load offensively for Salina. All right, how about some keys to the game tonight for the OG Titans? Yeah, stay in front, number one. Every time we've had OG, they have gotten in trouble defensively when there's dribble drives that get to the basket. So stay in front, make sure the shot is in front of you, not chasing the dribbler. Number two, a big banger. Now, I really believe, Randy, if they're gonna make a deep run, they're gonna have to have someone establish themselves along with Colin White as a big time rebounder. We saw Dave Westrick who come back last week. Mm -hmm. Big Dave, 6'7", maybe he's that guy. Gotta find a big banger to rebound inside. And then number three, this is a shock, this is a new one. I've run out of things to say about this guy. Colin White, guess what, he is good, right? He is always a key for this team. 25 points, eight rebounds, three assists, three steals, 54% from the field. Oh yeah, knock it down from deep at 42%. Colin White is good. Probably also popped the bag of popcorn that you had during the JV game. He is so Drives good. Drives the bus on away games. When he misses, you're surprised, right? Every time you shoot, you're like, oh, that's going in. He is some kind of player. Teams uh, all introduced now, just about ready to go here. Salina, what's they call the Green Bulldogs in the WBL in a league full of Bulldogs. As the Titans win the tip and we are underway. Schrader, top of the key, sends it over Erford. Erford, early corner three, that's gonna be up no good. There is that offensive rebound that Miles talked about. And Ross Mag says, hey, you're asking for a big time banger. I can do this. That allows OG to get up into their pressure defense right away. So two nothing early on our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Ultimate Outdoors. This one is turned over. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture and outdoor kitchens. When you're watching Ottawa Glandorf, when they catch the ball on the perimeter, they're gonna be about the best team in Northwest Ohio that getting their feet set for a shot as they catch it. And Tomazo stays hot. Yeah, Tomazo knocks that down. This is gonna be a turnover as Caden Wirtz, when he caught that long pass ahead, landed on the sideline. Some back-to-back -back turnovers for the Bulldogs. Now Solana gotta be careful not to push tempo when it's not there. It results in a turnover like that and already four nothing. Colin White nearly did the same thing. He got the entry pass back. Three ball on the way, and it is good. And it's a Dales Concrete three-pointer. Uh, Ottawa Glandorf is just blitzing Salina Erford with a little release rotation and a splash. Three-pointers tonight brought to you by Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick. See them for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Salina able to come back and get the bucket there. And Grant Duncan, guy that we didn't talk a, a great deal about, but averages nine in the game. Good, good job just attacking the lane off the rebound. Well, Salina able to get the miss. Let's see if they've weathered the start that OG had here. 6.15 and counting left to go opening period. Titans up seven to two. A man to man by Ottawa Glandorf and they're doing a really good job of talking on the down screens that Salina was trying to run. There's a backdoor cut. Yeah, going a brother to brother. Look at the kick out. Reset it. Braylon Gabes at the wing has it now. Still has his dribble instead. Flips it back out for Wernz. Wernz double teamed. A great job by Erford jumping that screen. Braylon trying to switch hands. It looks like he was able to draw the foul. I think it's going to be a costly one too. It's Colin White is going to be the guy whistled. You're going to see it. Oh, this is the three-point shot 
And the rebound by Mag that was early in the game, good job by Mag. You notice he kept the ball high, right? Didn't bring it back mm -hmm. down, just went real quick, took off the floor. And our replays tonight brought to you by a Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercy County Athletics. Free throws no good. That is the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. Salina able to get the basketball back. So Bulldogs down five early. Have the basketball in the half court. A really good job by Duncan coming back and helping out. That ball was dead. Wernz at the wing. Sends it over to, I believe that's Braylon Gabes. And now we're going to have an offensive foul called here. I remember years ago when Rick Mahorn would stick his, his buttocks out and for a screen. Salina got called for that. Allstatter got a little hip check in there for the foul. White thought about the three. Said gets it over for Tomazos who slipped down. Ball's then knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Titans. As Alex Wagner, Dave Westrick, and Brady Fortman all come in now for the Titans. Salina team only goes about seven deep. We expect two subs out of them. Here's White, corner three, it's up and good. That Callan White, 42% from behind the arc, loves the corner, 100% on that time. It's another Dale's concrete three-pointer as he hits it. Makes it 10-2. Long pass into the corner, now the answer, good out of Salina as Grant Duncan knocks down the triple. Yeah, Grant Duncan making a statement saying, hey, you guys should have talked about me more in the pregame. Big time start for Mr. Duncan. White trying to answer again. That one's no good offensive rebound. Pulled down Westrick. Westrick trying to find someone. Flips it into the corner. Second opportunity. Gets help with a roll and it falls through. That's your hometown rim right there. Rolls around, comes up, and then goes straight down. Shooter's touch. Erford can deliver. So that is two. Dale's concrete three-pointers for Erford for six points. The drive hit the bottom side of the backboard. OG comes away with it. Erford looking for number three. Can't get that one. Gabes comes up with a miss. Yeah, might as well, right? You've been red hot. You got that friendly roll the last time. Go ahead and launch it. This is Caleb Gabes, but that little floater to score. A nice athletic ability to extend it away from his body, and then the high glass smooch. White sends this one off to the wing, Fortman. Erford calling for it in that short corner. White thought he mishandled it, but actually was just having, giving it to an open player in the corner now trying to clear out. White with the kick, here's Fortman. Fortman's, I'm sorry, that's Erford. Looks like someone got a hand in to knock that one. Yeah, I think Gabe's got away with one. He contacted the hand of Erford. Official didn't see it. Works into the corner for Braylon Gabe's. Gabe's needs help. We get it back out to Wurtz. Braylon Gabe's trying to go baseline, gets a spin up oh, over oh, Erford, oh, oh, knocks down the baseline oh, jumper. Oh, Braylon. Delivering over top the outstretch hand of Erford. Big time shot right there on the baseline. It's going to lead to a Salina timeout. We'll take one as well at timeouts tonight. Brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Help you plan your financial future. Call 419 225 6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We'll take a break here on WOSN. Intergame tonight brought to you by Cisco Funeral Homes. Dedicated to excellence and service, and they have the highest integrity. Cisco Funeral Homes, our family serving your family in Salina and St. Mary's. Yeah, Colin White on the low block, run the offense through him there. You're going to have it stripped in that low block. There's a fight under the basket for the basketball, and that's going to be saved. Nice hustle play there, Grant Schrader to keep that alive. 
White, little jab step. Now he's going to pull up from the elbow, has another hand in his face, and he's able to draw the foul. Well, that's kind of tough, isn't it? The, his ability to dribble with the left hand, then when he elevates, how do you get in front of that? He is 6'6 and then can jump. And Gabe's did everything he could. So White, who is also an 80% free throw shooter, knocks down the first free throw, and again, a free throws tonight. Brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak Devils, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. White will get both. He's got five points now, and it's a 15-9. OG Lee in our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. A good job by Salina moving that 1-2-2 two, two zone pressure. Get the corner three, but White rebounds it. Three from Lennon Cisco in the corner is no good now. Titans with this one. Here's White. White taking on multiple defenders. Can't get that to go. Nice strong rebound there by Wurntz. Wurntz is going to beat everyone down the floor. Layup rolls out. Ball saved from under the basket. Salina will maintain possession. Now, Napke, great job saving it. Boy, that corner has been unkind for Salina. Another miss from the three ball. The OG student section letting everyone know what that was. Here's White off the wing. White gives behind him. Tomazos from three. That one rims out. Rebounds fought for in the reverse layup. A good one out of Colin White. Yeah, Colin White just outworks everybody. Gets the putback. Tomazos looked like it was going to go down, but White was there to clean it up. 17 9 OGs. They apply that pressure. Salina able to break this one. This matchup, by the way, failed to mention our pregame. 58th all time. OG leads the all-time series 30 to 27. Titans have won eight in a row by an average margin of victory of 33 and a half points. Uh, Coach Adam Johns got to be disappointed. The Solana is kind of falling into that trap of settling for that corner three ball. The last three trips, it's been unsuccessful. Caleb Gabes thought about a drive instead, swings it out for Wurntz. Wurntz trying to cross over, comes over the left side, turns the corner but we're going to get a whistle and a foul. Now, one thing we talked about in the pregame, partner, was making sure that OG stays in front defensively. Think of how many times already early in this game that Solana, even that great baseline shot by Gabes, he had to go over top of a defender, right? Yep. So OG doing a real good job of stopping dribble penetration. Solana lucky to be down only eight trying to shoot perimeter jumpers. It's under 40 seconds left to go here in our opening quarter. Salina having some trouble in the inbound to flip it to Caleb Gabes in the backcourt. Gabes with that left-hand dribble, works near the sidelines. Swings it over to his brother Braylon. Braylon will give off to the wing for Grant Duncan. Duncan back to Braylon Gabes. Now watch Erper just jump that screen. Gabes is going to be called for the offensive foul as Grant Schrader is going to draw the charge. Well, you want a dribble drive? That's okay, we'll let you, but we're gonna come off. Uh, I'm not sure he was set partner, but the contact was initiated by Gabes. And again, our instant replays are brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Oh geez, 10 seconds left here in our opening quarter, up 17-9. And Erford's gonna take the shot, but Looks like a moving screen is going to be the call here. Yeah, somebody better call U-Haul because that's a mover. Tomazos slid at the last second. That's going to give Salina an opportunity here with 4.8. They should get a quality shot. If they could sneak one in here. It's also the second foul in Tomazos, so he's going to sit. Salina able to get the inbound in. Here's Wirtz. Wirtz falls down, picks up his dribble, can't do anything else as the first quarter will come to a close. 17-9. OG leads this one after one. We'll take a break here on WOSN. Seventeen nine. our score, Ottawa Glandor for the lead over Salina. After one, we want to tell you that our game tonight is brought to you by Cisco Funeral Homes. 
dedicated to excellence in service, they also have the highest integrity, Cisco Funeral Homes. Our family serving your family in Salina and St. Mary's. 17-9 after one. Now yeah, slower pace here by Salina to begin the second quarter. Yeah, a little high screen to get a backdoor cut. Without a really big post, it's tough for Salina to get some action inside. You see another block. Yeah, good block on the other end to give OG into the offensive set. A good shot of Adam Johnson. A <laughs> little bit of frustration with his guys committing another foul in transition. Yeah, coaches are never happy though, even when right. they have a lead. You know, they have a if they have a lead, they're still not happy. The lead's not big enough. And, and Coach Johns, he wants his guy to do a better job defensively. So Grant Schrader will split the free throws. That's his first point to get a free throws tonight. Brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima Wapak Devils and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. What a menu they have there. Every time I go to Lee's, I just can't wait to try something else. Gabes with that left hand had it. The lane opened up, and it looks like Caleb Gabes is going to head to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Yeah, there's that four out offense with a napkin up high and the dribble drive with the left hand. Really one of the few times in this game we've seen Gabe's able to get free, get to the lane all the way, gets himself to the free throw line. Speaking of food though, partner, okay, we love Lee's, don't we? Yes. I, I get hungry every time we're here because on the Jumbotron they show some artwork. Mm -hmm. A lot of food in it this there time. Uh, Gabby Henry, she had a beautiful uh, painting of waffles. It looked really good, and Avery Fox, she was chasing after our dreams, a cupcake. <laughs> I want a cupcake that size. So Gabe's able to split the free throws. Makes it 18-10 here, still inside the opening minute of our second quarter. Here's White doing some work in the lane. Well, you gotta help out when Colin White decides to drive the middle of the floor. You gotta collapse on that just too easy. It's Colin White already with nine. Pass thrown over the top. Three ball from the wing, doesn't go. Good look by Cisco. Yeah, another one and done trip for Salina. Schrader's attempt is gonna be taken away. Warns to get it, now they kick it out and reset the offense. Cisco with it again, good pass into the corner, now given back to him. Step up, that one looked like a clean block, but foul's gonna be called as it looked like Schrader Caught it from the side. We'll see if we take a look at it again. Uh, Cisco, he did everything. Uh, there's a play before right here where Gabe's attacks with that left hand, got himself to the free throw line. But Cisco, I mean, he did everything. Looked at the seam on the basketball, read right. it, got himself set to shoot it. Took his time. It wound up being a smart play. Schrader comes over and hacks him. Our instant replays tonight are brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Now Solana not taking advantage of these uh, free throws that they got to make to keep themselves in this game. So Lennon Cisco hits the second. He's going to get one more. And it's not a bad free throw shooting team, 68% on the year. Just a little bit shy so far. Well, Cisco gets two of three. And Salina still hanging around, now 2012. Six and a half left to go, opening half. On our scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring your resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture and outdoor kitchens. Now second time, smart play by Colin White. Nobody collapsed, collapsed on him last time he drove, so go ahead and take it again. Salina will answer with a Dales concrete three out of Lennon Cisco. Uh, Cisco heard you bragging about his ability to fill it up from long range in pregame. A big time delivery all the way from Salina. So now 22 15 on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard, just under six to play before halftime. White trying to clear everyone out, gets a screen out of Erford. Erford trying to match it, he will with his own. 
Dale's concrete three, and that's his third of the night. Now, Erford, he likes two. He likes two, but he really loves the three. Pass intended for the corner was deflected by his own teammate. And Salento will get this back with that fake and the jab step. It's Kyle Gaines able to get to the basket. Boy, he's uh, quicker than a hiccup on that first dribble. So now 25 17. White gets this one out to the wing on nearly taken away. OG will maintain possession. Here's the kick out. Three from the top. That one's going to be left short. And a good rebound grabbed there by Salina. As Wirtz able to come away with it. Gabus with a little crossover move. Now gets it out to Duncan. Yeah, Grant just Duncan's going to come top of the key. Got to get some flow offensively, though. Cisco, he'll let fly the three, <laughs> hits it. He yeah, wants some flow? I'll flow right through the net. Cisco, another big three ball. And again, a three pointer is brought to you by Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete and Decker Stamping and Lipstick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. I think Cisco got a part of that one as Big Dave tried to go up. So now 25 20. We apologize, having some problems with our score bug right now. Nice drive to the baseline and the finish by Cisco. Uh, Cisco's kind of taken over this game on the offensive end for Salina and don't look now, it's a three point game. White gets it out, Fortman thought about it. Pass for Erford's taken away, Caleb Gabus with it. Gabus spins at the low block, gets around his defender, wild shot is no good. White comes back to get the rebound, he is then bumped by Cisco and will have a foul. You know, if Gabus could have delivered there, Everybody in the green and white would have lost their mind, would have cut it to one. How about the run by Cisco? First delivers three, then the fake and go. Cisco carrying the load for Salina, got a game here. And we're also gonna have ourselves a Metzger's Financial Services timeout. Helping you plan your financial future, call 419-225-6067 or visit Metzger Financial Services. Com. With a timeout on the floor, we'll take one as well. Watching high school basketball on WOSN. Twenty-five, twenty-two. Ottawa Glendorf leads the line in our game tonight. Brought to you by Cisco Funeral Homes, dedicated to excellence and service, and have the highest integrity. Cisco Funeral Homes. Our family serving your family in Salina and St. Mary's. White, I'm sorry, Erford in the corner, tried to go baseline instead. He'll just stop and pop from five feet. Yeah, you forget that Erford is actually six foot four, right? Nice little spin move, goes over top of Duncan, uses that height. His first basket that came within 18 feet of the night. Salina trying to answer the corner three, and how about the stick back by Braylon Gavis? Now Braylon goes up with the one hand, nice little putback, and Salina just won't go away. Still 27-24, one possession. Schrader for three, doesn't get the friendly roll that time. White with the putback, can't get that one to go. Rebound is tipped, and Gavis able to come away with it. His outlet is for Wirtz. Wirtz will bring this into the front court. Had it in the corner, back out to the wing for Cisco. Cisco and a nice switch come around as we see Connor Kitchen in for the first time tonight for the Titans. Yeah, much better job of being aware. Cisco behind the arc. Last couple possessions by OG. Tough trap. Salina able to break that. Drive is no good as Wentz had, or Wentz had a good look, excuse me. Couldn't get it to go. Yeah, if Salina's gonna stay in this game, they have to make those easy bunnies. Now another three, that one up and good as Caden Erford hits his fourth triple of the night. Hey, who's big time? Who is big time, Randy Roberts? Erford is tonight. Erford is big time from behind the arc. He's got 14, pull up in the lane, that's no good. That, by the way, is a Dale's Concrete three-pointer. Now White gonna try to answer from NBA range. It just goes right over top. A contested three, no big deal. Says, I want to get that Dale's Concrete sponsorship up on the board. And a replace tonight brought to you by 
Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporters of Mercer County Athletics. So here's a ball out of bounds. I wonder if you would have talked to Adam Johns, head coach of Salina before the game, and you show him the shot chart in the first half. Coach, you're going to shoot a ton from the corner on the left-hand side of the floor for three. If you would be happy with that, because it is a ton of threes coming from the left-hand side. Tough angle to shoot it from. It, it is. Salina, speaking of tough angles, had a tough time getting that inbound in. Now Cisco, he'll let fly, and he's going to hit the Dales concrete three. Oh, Cisco kid. He is not just a shot taker. He is a shot maker. Makes it a six-point game here with a minute 20 to go before halftime. It's a handoff for Erford. He'll get it out to White. He'll spin it around to the right side. Now Erford steps out. He'll let fly from long range and bury it. Oh, he's fun to watch when he gets heated up. And they're like, now here comes Cisco. It's five threes for Erford here in the first half. Cisco can't get the answer. Feels like a little bit of danger time for Salina. No, you think they're snacking on it? It might be. And about another three-pointer out of the Titans. Well, it's a three for me, it's a three for you, it's a three for all party. And OG Wagner gets involved. And now foul called. That is eight triples by Ottawa Glandorf here in the first half. They, they average uh, making seven a game, so they've already gone past that. Yeah, Solana's done a really good job against that pressure. And gonna get the benefit of the call right there as you see Duncan hits the ground. Felt like just moments ago we were talking about a one possession game. Now we've got ourselves a 12 point difference. Well, be and we're gonna have ourselves a foul. It'll be interesting if the Official closer to it comes at now. Nope, they're going to stay with it. Uh, Colin Y, I think, had a clean block. The official on the baseline they thought he saw contact. You see Colin go over and say, Hey, man, help me out. Go over there and tell him. I didn't touch him. Here is Kalen, uh, Caleb Gabes at our. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima Wapak, Delvis, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Yeah, you wonder if an official pair. will tell a kid, like, yeah, I know, but I, I can't say anything right now. Yeah, two on Colin White, but when you're up by 11, it doesn't hurt as bad. And he'll stay on the floor for offense and what I believe will be the final possession of the half. We've been here where Otto Glandorf has executed this situation outstandingly. White gets into the corner, gets the kick out. Three ball, no good. Rebound was first in the hands of Salina and then was kind of slammed off the backboard and White able to clean up and finish with a basket. 41-28, OG leads Salina at the half. We'll take a timeout and have more for him when we return here on WOSN. Halftime here from the Supreme Court, Ottawa Glandorf leads Salina 41-28 as the Titans well, they just shot lights out. I mean, that's the easiest way to put it. Eight threes in that opening half. Five from Caden Erford, a big reason why they have this double-digit lead at the break. Uh, the confidence in which he was uh, releasing. He keeps shooting it in that second half. Remember, seven threes made per game. They're already at eight. So they have been attacking the three-point line with a vengeance at Ottawa Glendor. Titans with the basketball to begin the second half. Tomazos who fought a little bit of foul trouble back out there. And the pass is going to be taken away as OG tried to cut the baseline. And a nice job defensively by Salina. That's yeah, one of those plays coaches love to come out in the second half and run a back door, see if you're sleeping. But I'll tell you who's not sleeping. And Braylon delivers again from long range. Yeah, Gabus hits the Dales concrete three-pointer, gets this lead of OG to 10. Tomazos left elbow buries the 15-footer. 
Boy, he is so improved offensively from where we saw him earlier in the year. Last three games, such a confident offensive player. 43-31, 50 seconds have gone by so far in our third quarter. Back near the timeline, Erford on Carter Allstadter. Allstadter, the free throw line, looking for someone. Now the wing three on the way, that's gonna be short. Duncan couldn't get it to go, and now the Titans led by White, and we're gonna get a whistle as White's gonna drive the lane. It looks like he's gonna go to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Yeah, he is such a wonderful player, but one of the things that people forget is he's so smart, right? He saw the defender flat-footed, and he's going full speed, so don't kick it out. Go ahead and attack, because you're gonna get yourself to the free throw line. So White's first free throw is good. Again, our free throw line tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima Wapak, Devils, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken or home style happens here. So White gets both of the free throws. Now Salina trying to get going in the half court. And it's going to be Braley Gavis again with an Ailes concrete three-pointer. Now a little bit quiet in that first half, but he's come out on fire, being aggressive offensively. Second three in this third quarter for Gavis. Titans are gonna head right back to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Nice take on the baseline that time by Ross Mag. Zollstadter's gonna pick up his second foul. And the free throw from Mag is good. You know, we talked in the beginning about a big banger, and that's the second time that we saw Ross Mag. Early in the game, he got to put back, and that time attacked the board. And boy, another offensive rebound by Erford. He'll hit that one. Salina trying to answer now. We've got a foul on the putback. Tomazos is going to pick up the foul. That's going to be, I believe, his third. Yeah, Wagner's going to get up, come in. The officials having a little bit of a powwow. Nope, they're going to, yeah, they're going to uh, award a couple of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws to Carter Allstadter. Just three of six from the charity strike this year. First one a little too strong. Hard to believe it, as many minutes that he's played you know, throughout the year and they're already in game number 17 and that many free throws he's shot, that's, that's surprising. He's gonna miss them both. OG gets the miss and White will bring the ball into the front court. Yeah, tough to miss both of those and stay in this basketball game. Corner three on the way, that's going to be no good. We're going to get another foul. Yeah, weak side rebounding, not executed correctly by Salina. Wagner going to fly in there and get it. So now Alex Wagner, who's 6 of 12 at the line, will shoot a couple of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. It's a 14-point lead, but it has the feel that it could jump to 20 and above real quick, doesn't it? Salina's going to have to execute well. They've been carried by streaky shooting. Kind of felt that way when it went from 3 to 12 in what felt like just a heartbeat. Salina's still in the backcourt. Warren's able to bring it up and lost the dribble, but is able to get it back. Working down, nice spin. Can't get that one to go. Mag comes up with a miss. Erford, a little razzle dazzle with the pass, kick out, three ball, no good. But how about Wagner following? Gets his own miss, can't get that to go. But Schrader with a third effort. A second time in this quarter, Wagner gets an offensive rebound, saves a possession. OG takes advantage of it again. Lead now to 17. 51 34. Now foul. What OG players thought was another block shot. Well, anytime you have a late whistle, the, the guys that think they got the block, they get more convinced by it, don't they? So here's Caleb Davis at the line. 
And he will hit the first of two least famous recipe chicken free throws. Salina needs a little bit more offense, so Lennon Sisko checked back in, number 13. What a really big first half he had for the Green Bulldogs. And Napke checked in as well. As Gabus will split the free throws, 51-35. Five minutes to go in the third corner. Scoreboard tonight brought to you by Alderman Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury <laughs> outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Uh, Erford picks up where he left off in that first half. Just loving the number three. It got a great screen by Big Dave Westrick. It's a six triple tonight. White with a pass ahead. It's it to Wagner and back out to Colin White. White through the lane, off the window, gets the roll. Uh, shows how strong Colin White is. Just won't be denied living on that right-hand side. Now Cisco from deep, that one's going to miss everything. Erford tracks down the rebound, stays inbound. Now out to White. White's going to bring this across the timeline here. 4.18 left to go in our third quarter. Erford, pull-up jumper, buries it. He's just having one of those nights where the basket looks like it is huge. Keep shooting if you're kid er Erford. He's got 24. Sim and White have combined for 44 to the 58 for the Titans. Is he able to get around his defenders, Caleb Gabus, but couldn't get the finger roll to drop. And now White will bring it into the front court. White, he's in the lane, and his short runner is no good, but it looks like he's going to go and shoot a couple of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. Hey, look, you're at a disadvantage when you let him get that full steam ahead like a locomotive going down the track and you're standing still, he's either going to get an easy layup or you're going to foul him. Got to go meet him, make his life difficult. So White able to get the first free throw, and you saw our instant replay there. It's brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. For the margin of error against this Ottawa Glendorf team, you can't make mistakes against them. They will, they will make you pay in a hurry. Look how quickly this lead has ballooned up. Second free throw left short. And the Bulldogs have it as they bring this one into the front court. With Wurntz, will get the kick out. And that. Dale's concrete three is good out of Braylon Gabus. And we have ourselves another Metzger Financial Services timeout. Timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. With that, we'll take a break as well. Watching high school basketball at WOSN. And our sponsor tonight of our broadcast is Cisco Funeral Homes. Dedicated excellence in service, and they also have the highest integrity. Cisco Funeral Homes, our family serving your family in Salina and St. Mary's. OG with a basketball now up 21 here as we near the three-minute mark of our third quarter. Yeah, Salina tried to trap on the perimeter, but the problem when you trap OG is, look at the height they have on the floor, right? They just throw over top of you. And a lot of guys can handle the basketball as well. You see Big Dave Westrick, number 11, and I'd love to see OG try to feed the post with him. 6'7", you got to believe he's going to be a, an efficient scorer at some point in time this year for them. His pass to the top of the key is going to be taken away. Braylon Gabus couldn't get the layup to go, and now OG is able to bring this into the front court. Tomazos gets the kick out, wing three doesn't go. There's Western with the offensive rebound. He's able to put it up and in. Now right on cue, right? Big Dave, we need you to score. Go, and get, go ahead and get a weak side rebound and put it back. Now 61-38 here with under three to play in our third quarter. Braylon Gabus with it. 
well away from the basket, needing a little bit of help. He's got Napke. Bounce pass and an extra bounce for Cisco. Get it inside. Nice job with the ball fake. Caleb Gavis gets his defender in the air and he's able to score. Now, how about Cisco in the first half, filling it up? That time delivering a little dime. Allow Salina to stay in it just a little. Erford, he'll turn down the three. Hasn't done that much tonight. Now the kick out. And the three from the other side is no good. Schrader thought he had it. Salina comes up with a miss. Gavis. It's Caleb. Through two defenders, can't get that to go. Rebound's knocked out of bounds. And it looks like basketball's gonna stay with the Bulldogs. And Napke tried to tip it out from behind. He's getting boxed out by Big Dave Westrick and gonna stay here. Cisco will do the inbounding. Good bounce pass to the cutter. Braylon Gavis able to get his way to the basket. Yeah, it's one of those things when you watch film tomorrow, you're going to say, how did we let number three get to the low block on an inbound? He's got 15 and adds a block to it as well. So that might be one he talks about for years to come. I blocked Colin White. <laughs> Gavis now White trying to answer with a steal. Had it poked away but right to Napke. And now we'll get a whistle and we're going to have a foul inside. This might go on White. And it is going to go on Colin White. It's his second, team's third of the quarter. Just a little handsy. I, these officials have done a really good job of calling action away from the ball. Inbound goes into the corner. Caleb Gabus trying to do everything. I'm sorry, that's Braylon Gabus. Trying to do everything he can to stay in bounds. Baseline jumper doesn't go. Now White with it. Stopped at the top of the key. No one picked him up with a little spin. He'll get to the basket and score. Now how do you not pick up number 22 on transition and then the little spin a rooney finish for the man they call Colin White? 63-42 in our ultimate outdoor scoreboard as Salina will throw this one away. And the Titans will get it back. Well, in the first half, you said they were snacking on a little danger. This is a seven-course meal yeah, of danger now did. for Salina. Erford. Oh, why not, right? What, what can you say? Why not? Let's take him to Dave and Buster's tonight, do some Papa shot, and we'll win all kinds of tickets. <laughs> Look at that. Bing, 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 and then uh, through the bucket. Three pointers tonight are brought to you by Dale's Concrete. To call Dale's Concrete and Decker of Stamping and Lipstick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. It's OG is going to play for what appears to be the final shot of the quarter. I think you bring Erford out to half court and just let him launch it. Might as well. Yeah, he's been unbelievably hot. Go ahead. The lob in, the kick out. It is going to be Erford. Can't get it to go. Tip in doesn't go, but how about Colin White to clean it up? Uh, Colin White flies out of nowhere, and he's going to get contacted on the foul. A great job by Grant Schrader, who had the initial tip. And is there a better team that we've seen this year that gets points at the end of a quarter than OG? I don't think so. They're fantastic at it. So the least famous recipe chicken free throw doesn't go, but it's all OG. Now 68-44, beginning to pull away from Salina. We'll take a timeout here in WOSN. Sixty-eight forty-four, Ottawa Gland over the lead over Salina as we begin. Our fourth quarter, we want to tell you that the game tonight is brought to you by Cisco Funeral Homes, dedicated to excellence and service. They also have the highest integrity. Cisco Funeral Homes, our family serving your family in Salina and St. Mary's. Colin White made a new friend and fan there in the front row. I, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that most of the home crowd probably already know who he is. <laughs> you think so? 
A uh, young man that will be wearing scarlet and gray next year for the Buckeyes, and hopefully they get things turned around with Colin White helping out. White's going to have a steal there. White to the basket, can't get it to go. It's Duncan comes up with a miss and has the outlet for Wirtz. Wirtz will get it ahead for Caleb Gabus. Gabus trying to back down his defender. Going up over Mag, that one doesn't go, and Erford has the miss. Erford will bring this one into the front court. So the Titans have 68, Erford has 27, and now Colin White, thanks to that Nails Concrete three, has taken the scoring lead with 28. No, oh, he, I think he hit it from about the top of the O in the OG over there. That was a long range heave, made it look easy. 71-44. And a game that at one point, I believe, was 27-24. Yeah, got it down to a three-point margin. It missed a layup or also would in one-point margin. But this is what OG does, right? They will just explode in a hurry. You think you're in it, and then next thing you know, you're down by 15. Officials right on top of that one is going to say that Caleb Gavis had the ball go off his thigh and out of bounds. So 6.40 left to play in our scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. <laughs> and we'll let that one speak for itself. Yeah, how about a little two-man game? This is the tip in earlier. But this possession gets a little pass on the low block and then spin back in the middle. And a little dunkalicious for Colin White. And a replay is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. It's White from the least famous recipe chicken free throw line will finish off the three point play. He made that dunk look so easy, like a little kid hanging on one of those Fisher Price rims, right? <laughs> Like no whole home in the front front living room. Just easy. Pull it's it like, down. Like watching you on the six foot rim. <laughs> so now we have ourselves a 30 point game with six minutes to go. Bulldogs nearly turn this one over again. Long lob goes in. Braylon gave us under the basket through two defenders. Able to turn around and score. You ask for it and you will receive it. There's the uh, Aftermath of the dunk, and then another big time three. Erford knocks down another Dale's Concrete and Decorative stamping three-pointer. That OG lead continues to grow, 77-46 now, five and a half minutes left to play. Well, Batman and Robin, they are crime fighting tonight. Big Tomazos, time scoring. Tomazos nearly jumped in front of that one, got the steal three from the corner. That one's gonna be no good. White has the miss. Kind of wonder how long these starters for OG will be in for. It's Erford had the three, pulled the trigger, couldn't get it. White from the free throw line, gets the kick into the corner, extra pass. Erford from downtown, Glandorf buries the three. Oh, what a night for Caden Erford. Take him to the All-Star Weekend, put him in the three-point shooting contest. He might have a winner. That is nine triples for the 6'4 senior. Now 80 to 46. Salina is able to draw the foul, and we will see Caden Wirtz go to the free throw line. <laughs> nine threes. And when he when he lets it go and he knows it's going on, he's so ho hum about it. He just kind of jogs back on defense. Doesn't shoot an arrow in the air or anything. Once in a while gives a little bit of a three with the fingers, but just so cool. Warren's able to knock down the first of our two Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. So White will be removed to a nice round of applause. Yeah, I imagine that'll be the last time we see him here tonight. As Warren's able to get the second free throw as well. 80 to 48 here as we near four and a half minutes to go. Wagner trying to get to the baseline, spins. Erford gets a <laughs> tenth with a bounce. Oh, nothing like shooting at home. Somebody call his mama. 
because Caden Erford is a bad dude. Tomazos to lead the break. He'll finish with a layup. What a night and what a run. And now the foul committed, and that's to allow the substitutions to come in as Kate Nerford is going to leave to a nice round of applause. Ten three-pointers tonight, which is roughly ten more than I made in my high school career. 36 points, ten from a long range. Oh my, have yourself a night, Kate Nerford. And I'm actually glad they take him out because uh, my score sheet, I only have room for 10 three-pointers. So we appreciate that, not making me have to do a little bit more math. I think they're taking him out because they're afraid that that net will burn up down there. And Salinas still battling, Braley Gamis. He's got four of them by himself with a big three-pointer. He's got 20. Makes it 85-51 on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Now we'll have a whistle and a foul. And I believe Braylon actually just fouled out with those 20 points. So Gavis had eight field goals, four of them from behind the arc. As Kanapke will check in. Looks like the Titans are going pretty deep on their bench. We see Holden Aldrich in for the first time tonight. He's number 10, had the basketball under the basket. Saw the hand go up, calling for it. Here's Wagner, top of the key. Wagner gets it out. Aldrich, a 6'7", sophomore. Had himself a really good JV game. Now Ross Mag with that drive from the baseline to score. Now Ross and Mags had himself a very efficient night. Another foul committed, and I believe that is to allow one more substitution to get in. And with the 35-point differential, or 36-point differential, we now have gone into the running clock situation with under two to go. Make sure you stay tuned. Miles is going to have a conversation with our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. I don't know if making three 10 pointers is enough to be a hustler, but we'll see who our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner is tonight. Salina trying something inside. Now we'll get a whistle and a foul. Brody Fortman's going to pick up the foul. We want to tell you one more time that a game tonight has been brought to you by Cisco Funeral Homes. Dedicated excellence and service and have the highest integrity. Cisco Funeral Homes, our family serving your family in Salina and St. Mary's. So Kanapke at the line, and it is the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Free Throw line. See them in Lima, Wapak, Delvis, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken or Home Style happens here. Clock continues to run while substitutions come in. So OG will just bring this into the front court. And both teams going deep into the benches now. 20 seconds left to go as OG is going to continue its dominance over Salina, make it nine in a row and add to that average margin of victory. Fortman has the basketball as the final 10 seconds have to run off. He'll find Wagner. Wagner's going to hold the ball at his hip. Teams are going to make their way back to the benches as the final horn will sound. And the final tonight here at Ottawa Glandorf. We'll see the Titans stay undefeated in the WBL. They'll improve to 15 and two with an 87-53 win over the Salina Bulldogs. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll head down to the floor with our Miles Holiday. So we'll have an interview with our Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner when we return.
87-53, our final. Ottawa Glandorf gets the win over Salina, so the Titans go to 15-2, 6-0 in the WBL, and a part of that is 10 big three-pointers out of a 36-point night out of Caden Erford. He's down on the court now with our Miles Holiday. Hey, this was billed as a, a, a big matchup in the WBL, but you guys establish yourselves. Uh, you guys dominate this league. How are you guys able to get such a huge win over the top of Salina? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, it's all week. We prepare, coach talks, and then this week he just said it's, a, it's about us. It's not about them. It's not about anyone else. It's about us. We play our game. We're going to come out with a win. And then in the locker room before the game, he just said we need to come out get a good start. You know, we haven't had a, a lot of great starts this year in the first quarter. And this year, that, that was one of our goals this game, and I thought I thought we did that pretty well the first quarter today. Let's talk a little bit about that pregame locker room where we set up right above you guys. That is the loudest locker room that we've ever uh, uh, been around. Uh, what goes on in there? How do you guys get yourself ready to go? Uh, a lot of different things. We just, you know, it's you got to find energy, and I think it's a really good group of guys, really fun. We all get along real well, and I think that helps, and that's what it makes it fun. Well, you got along with the, the rim and the, the, the net tonight. Ten three-pointers. Have you ever had a night where the bucket looked as big as that? No, not tonight. You know, it's just, you just have those nights, and, uh, I mean, when you're hot, you're hot, I guess. And it's, it's a, it could be a different person any night on this team. Tonight it just happened to be me, but next game it could be anyone. You hit the 10th three-pointer, three and the bench just absolutely erupted. How special is that that they're sharing the excitement with you? Yeah, you know, we have a group of guys who truly want – want good things to happen. It just makes it all that much more fun, so. Well, let's have some fun, half court shot right here. He's made absolutely everything. Oh. Congratulations, our Stolly Hustle Player of the Week. Didn't have the legs left after 10 three-pointers to hit one from half court again, Caden Erford of Ottawa Glandorf. Our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. Check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. We want to thank everyone for making our night possible here at Ottawa Glendorf. Starts with Tyson McLaughlin, the athletic director at OG. No, know he gets a lot of help as the boys basketball coach. We appreciate the fine folks at OG letting us set up all of our stuff. Can't thank Curtis and Eric enough for all the work they've done tonight as well. So 87-53 is the final. OG gets the win over Salina for my partner Miles Halliday and our entire WOSN crew. I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching everyone.